Hi, I'm Claire Wasey and I'm a personal stylist and today I'm going to give you some great style tips. For anything you don't find in these videos, go to my website and check out all the tips I have there. Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about how to wear blouses. Blouses are a key trend for this autumn winter, which is 2010. A um, really key piece um, for a blouse is to have a pussy bow, which is this really nice detailing around the neck. It's very, very 70s um, and it's really key for this season. So try when you're getting your pussy bows to go for a print or a colour. This one's a really fantastic print and a really great colour for this autumn winter. Works well with camel tones, also with black and blues. When you're thinking about how to accessorise or finish your outfit with a pussy bow, Think about what you can team it with. So for example, you've got a classic white pussy bow blouse. Looks fantastic with a 70s style wide leg trouser, but equally goes fantastically with the really bang on trend cigarette pant. Um, this is a really great look for office, but you can really turn it into something much more relaxed and weekend wear by adding, for example, a leather jacket with the look. So instead of going for something that's really structured like a blazer, go for a soft and relaxed leather jacket just to bring it much more into a weekend look. Another thing that you can do with a blouse is perhaps a little bit more corporate, but you can also do it at home. It's just to pop a really nice waistcoat over the top. So you've got the blues on sleeve coming out there and then you've got the pussy bow detailing happening. Let me just position that over the top. And this will really cinch you in at the waist, so it's defining your figure really looks fantastic, it's a really great smart look but it also it's bang on trend with the blouse shape as well. If a pussy bow blouse is a little bit too prissy for you then go for something that's a little bit more relaxed. Now this one for example it's a really fantastic, it's got a cowl neck at the front and it's sleeveless so what it means is that you can really layer this over like a long sleeve t-shirt um, or you can put things over the top of it in a, just the same way as you can with your pussy bow but it's just a slightly more relaxed version of a blouse. Another option is to go for, it doesn't fasten at the front, but a silk blouse or, um, or a print or a colour. It's really fantastic. Again, with a pencil skirt for work, you tuck that in, it's really great. Add a belt to cinch in your waist. But equally, works fantastically under slightly more interesting jacket. So really mixing your tones with the print and the really beige colour of this uh, jacket really brings out the print and the texture and also the luxury element of a blouse. When you're thinking about wearing your blouse, don't be scared of going for prints, colours, detailing like the pussy bow or the sleeve or the cowl neck, but make sure that you choose one or the other. Don't kind of go for a pussy bow with a blues on sleeve and then get a cowl neck over the top. Make sure that you pick really simplistic elements to match your pussy bow or, or your cowl neck detailing with. So for example, if you're going for a more simplistic blouse like this one which has just got a small amount of detailing. Go for um, maybe a knitwear that's got some more detailing at the front. If you're going for, for example, this really, really exciting colour, go for something really simple like a shift dress to layer over the top so you bring out the colour and the detailing on the sleeve but you hide the rest of um, the action happening underneath. So it kind of changes up how your blouse looks. And then equally with these ones that are sleeveless, I really think take them into a more casual vibe by going for a cigarette pan or maybe a skinny jean and a t-shirt and then layering up your accessories. So as you can see, blouses can be really, really versatile and you can wear them in lots of different ways. So experiment as much as you can, opt for colour and really mix and match what you're wearing them with and don't just keep them for your workwear. Thanks.